So this is an appearance from, is it the second? Yeah, it is. This, so this is from today. So corporate Democrat Josh Gothheimer responds to Rashida Tlaib giving the progressive response to the State of the Union. That very progressive speech was going to be a lot like keying your own car and slashing your own tires. So that's his response to what she said. Now, I'm not sure how many of you watched uh, Rashida Tlaib's uh, response for the Working Families Party to Biden's State of the Union, but it was good. It was perfect. My only critique is that she didn't call out Manchin and Cinema by name, but she was a lot more substantive than Joe Biden. And on top of that, she cited specific things that Biden can do unilaterally to alleviate the suffering of the American people, cancel student debt and whatnot. So it was a good speech. It was fine. Um, but yet Josh Gothheimer says that it's uh, like keying your own car and slashing your own tires. Well, how about this, Josh? Listening to you speak is like farting into a cup and then huffing it. Wasn't the only politician we heard from tonight. Shortly after his State of the Union address, Michigan Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib offered the progressive's response from the Democrats. Watch this. If we really want a democracy that responds to the will of the people, then we need voting rights protection and democracy reforms immediately. While we continue building support in Congress, President Biden can use his executive power now to take action, to deliver for the people. And she listed a lot of things that he can do, but he's choosing to not do. So it was it was great. It was fine. But it's like slashing your tires. New Jersey Congressman Josh Gottheimer. He made headlines when he said that very progressive speech was going to be a lot like keying your own car and slashing your own tires. Uh, Congressman, that's a pretty aggressive thing to say about someone in your own party. So what'd you hear tonight? Hey, Stephanie, I hope all's well. Uh, I'm from Jersey, and, and what I meant was pretty clear that I thought it's unhelpful. Who cares if you're from Jersey? I hate when people are like, I'm from New York, so X. I don't care where you're from. That is completely irrelevant. And he looks like a demon, by the way. There's like a 97% chance that he might actually be a demon. For uh, anyone in our Big Ten party to come out preemptively and criticize others in the party. and It's not helpful for anyone in our, quote, Big Ten party to preemptively criticize others in the party. Aren't you doing that right now? Aren't you criticizing her? So take your own advice, you fucking dweeb. It's bad to criticize others in the party. Therefore, let me... Uh, equate her speech to keying a car which doesn't even make sense what a fucking moron look at this fucking smug face holy shit that's what i was concerned about and you know um uh, what i think we need to do as democrats and republicans is come together and focus on what how do you propose coming together dipshit you have one side of the aisle completely fucking insane authoritarian racist aligning with white nationalists speaking at AFPAC, Marjorie Green. You have some of them screaming at their colleagues when they're asked to wear a mask. I mean, we're one step away from them shitting themselves and spitting on you. So how do you propose coming together with them, dipshit? How about this? You just go join them and you leave the Democratic Party. It's best for the country. You saw the president do that tonight, not only in his unity agenda where he talked about opioids and standing by veterans and, and of course, standing by law enforcement uh, and mental health issues for the country, but also in how you saw him come out strong in support for Ukraine and, and, you, and the whole gallery, Democrats and Republicans. Rashida Tlaib did this too. If you watch her speech, she also came out strongly for Ukraine. She talked about these things too. So why is it different? Just because leftist bad? I mean, this is a complete dipshit right here, folks. Josh Gothheimer is a moron. He is a smooth-brained, low-IQ dipshit. Just join the Republican Party. Stop sucking them off. Just go be with them. Jesus Christ. Republicans stood together and applauded as we talked about the importance of standing by democracy in the region. Standing. The left did too. Are you saying that they don't believe in democracy for Ukraine or they're against Ukraine and they support Russia's illegal invasion? What are you trying to say? What a fucking idiot. He's not making a point. There's noise coming out of that hole in his face, but none of it is reasonable at all. There's just no substance there. Up to Russia and their aggression uh, and making sure that we are aggressive uh, in, 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 in every which way in how we stand with our allies against Putin. So you... Okay. 
So why was her speech like heating a car, but Biden's wasn't when she touched on all of the same points, but she just went further and said, hey, here's policies X, Y, and Z that you can do via executive order. Why is that so bad? I don't, I don't understand it. This is a complete fucking moron. Look at his eyes are dead. He has no soul. Whatever the cost was for his soul, I hope that it was worth it. Because what a fucking demon this guy is. I feel good about the president's remarks tonight. I thought he struck the right tone on, on talking about, obviously, crime, uh, getting past COVID as we uh, had out of the height of the pandemic and moving on um, uh, in terms of what we're going to do on the fourth. Okay, Biden had a good speech. You like his speech. I disagree, but you like his speech. So why do you have to go out of your way to unnecessarily shit on Rashida Tlaib, who had a great speech as well? I just, I don't get this. What is the point? He just likes to shit on progressives. He just likes to shit on leftists. Join the Republican Party. If you're a conservative, leave, bitch. Leave. If you say it's a Big Ten party, you just called it a Big Ten party, then are leftists like Rashida Tlaib not welcome here? Do you not want them in that Big Ten party? I mean, Jesus, you know, the Democratic Party should be a small tent party and people like this should be excluded. They should be ostracized and kicked out of the party because who needs people like this? Democrats don't like him. Even other corporate Democrats don't like him. He doesn't get along with anyone in Congress because he's so fucking insufferable. So I just I don't get what the point of this is. Why did MSNBC even bring him on? They should laugh at him. That should be the response. Whenever you see Josh Gothheimer, you should laugh at him because this is not a serious person. I don't know how he got into Congress, but he's not a serious person ability on gas prices and groceries and, and prescription drugs. Those are all things that I think the country wants to hear about, of how we're going to work together to get things done and make their lives better. The country wants to hear about how we're going to work together. Nobody gives a fuck about if you're working together or not. Nobody cares if you're holding hands and singing Kumbaya, okay? You try to tank Build Back Better. You try to tank your own party's agenda. So what are you talking about? There's plenty we can do to be dealing with our supply chain issues and others to, to make life more affordable. And I think those are the kind of actions. And listen, we just passed legislation on, on standing up to China and building more chips here in the United States on making sure that we are focused on veterans and helping law enforcement. I think there's plenty of things that we can rally Democrats and Republicans around and Democrats around. Yeah, this is this is word salad. This is word salad, Mr. Anderson says. He's just throwing around buzzwords, standing up to China, unity, rallying around. It's like every thought in his head is focus group tested. I can imagine, like, he, he doesn't have his hand up, but... Uh, on the side, he's thumb pointing hard. Thumb pointing intensifies each time he uses the word bipartisanship or unity. Was there some messaging that you'd like to hear over and over? For many people, even if it was President Biden's message for quite some time, funding the police, putting more money into law enforcement, uh, something some people were surprised by. Who was surprised by that? That's what Biden said he was going to do from the beginning. We know that he doesn't give a shit about police reform. He doesn't care about voting, right? He doesn't care about anything. So that wasn't surprising to me. I mean, he basically told the entire Black Lives Matter movement to go fuck itself. You know, after this historic protest, after the murder of George Floyd, uh, protests break out around the world and we see no action in Congress. Nothing. And then Biden tells people to go fuck themselves. No, no, no. We're going to give the police more money when they already have bloated budgets compared with other, um, you know, uh, other entities in each city, right? And uh, that's surprising. Everybody expected this from Biden. He made it pretty clear that we don't need to, to fund the police. What we need to do is actually fund law enforcement and support them. I've got legislation. They're overfunded. Legislation called the Investor Protect Act, which does just that. I think that's what people so expand their budgets more. Do you think that we should even demilitarize the police? Why don't you just go find a police officer and suck them off, Josh? That's what you want to do. Lick their fucking boots clean, okay? Deep throat their battalion and their gun. Like, holy fucking shit. What a bootlicker. I cannot stand this motherfucker. People want to hear. They want to know our communities are safe. They want to stand by our first responders and law enforcement and our veterans. Stand they by. Want to know that rally around. Shut the fuck up, you talking point machine. That actually we're getting their backs and of course uh, that we enforce the laws on the books i think we he talked about the officers in new york whose lives were lost and 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 you know we need to make sure we stand by law enforcement and stand for safety stand by the country rally wants. around unify holy shit shut the fuck up he is insufferable he makes me want to kill myself in roblox i want to find the highest cliff 
and jump off of it in Roblox. Holy fucking shit. Is there a more insufferable Democrat than Josh Gothheimer? To hear that, and we've got to take action. So I think it's going to be a busy few months ahead, whether... Uh... And look at that little shit-eating grin as he says all of these stupid-ass fucking platitudes. Oh my, I hate him so much. He's he's inching up above Joe Manchin in terms of my hate level. It's maybe irrational, but I hate this motherfucker. It's opioids or mental health or veterans uh, or law enforcement. There's plenty we can do together if we work together. Uh, and, and I really believe now is the moment. And you saw that unity in the chamber tonight, especially as he talked about Ukraine. He was also talking about taking off our masks and getting back to work. Watch this. It's time for America to get back to work and fill our great downtowns again with people, people working. For we need a bingo card of the shit that he's going to say. Rally around, unify, stand by. I mean, how many of you w want to just anticipate what he's going to say? I haven't pre-watched this, but I'm assuming he's going to say the same shit. From home can feel safe and begin to return to their offices. We're doing that here in the federal government. The vast majority of federal workers will once again work in person. But do they want to? It's not that people aren't working. When you think about the federal government, you've got scores of people that are working from home and want to stay that way. What do you think is the, what, what's the future going to be? Well, I think the president made it pretty clear tonight that he wants folks to get back to the office. And, uh, you know, I think the, the good news with taking off our masks and that was a great uh, turn the page moment. I think we'd all agree uh, being together in the chamber that way. And that whether you're making sure our kids are in school and uh, in New Jersey next week, they'll have the opportunity to be mass free, but also go back to the office and make sure that uh, our communities can thrive and prosper. I think that's very important. And, you know, just like you talked about other accomplishments like infrastructure and so they can't work from home because you don't want them to, because it's important to get back to the office so we feel normal again. I think that working from home is one of the best things to come out of the pandemic. So why can't people have that? Because Biden says so. Well, fuck what you say. Let people work from home if they can. Right. Not everyone can work from home, but let them work from home if they want to. And uh, fixing our roads and bridges and rails and and our drinking water. I think COVID is an area, as he talked about as well. Thank God they're fixing the drinking water. It's what we've been needing for years for them to fix the drinking water where we came together as a country and helped get us through one of the roughest excuse me did he just say that we came together as a country to fight covid area as he talked about as well where we came together as a country go back i have to make sure i hit that. and rails and and our drinking water i think covid is an area as he talked about as well where we came together as a country and helped get us through one of the roughest times and we came together as a country to get through covid does he even hear what he's saying? There are Republicans melting down at the thought of having to wear a fucking piece of cloth over their face. And he's talking about how we came together as a country. I mean, what was it, like two weeks into the pandemic when Republicans were already recommending that we sacrifice our grandparents to the gods of capitalism so we can save the economy and big businesses. And he's saying that we came together in the pandemic. Yeah, exactly. We're still divided over COVID. What world is he living in? Is he delusional? Is he on drugs? This dipshit literally just said with a straight face that we came together during this pandemic. What a fucking idiot. I didn't think that um, there was any Democrat who was as stupid as Louis Gohmert or Marjorie Green. He's honestly close. He's so close. This is Marjorie Green level intellect. She wouldn't say that we came together as a country, but she would say something equally stupid to that comment. I mean, what an idiot. I've never heard him speak at an extended uh, length before. Holy shit. He's extremely fucking stupid. Now, as we get to the end of that, and I hope we're at the end of that uh, 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 pandemic, hopefully we can get back to normal. And, and that's what the president was talking about tonight. There could be a new normal, flexible work arrangements, which would be more inclusive for a lot. Even the MSNBC host is saying, why can't that be a new normal? Jesus, if you sawed open his brain and you looked into his skull, it would literally be smooth as butter. That's how fucking stupid he is. People, when you cut down long commute times, 
people save money and many can be more productive. Right. So well, Steph, Stephanie, you know that there's there's plenty of ways to work. Uh, the key is just making sure everyone has an opportunity to work. And, and uh, that's why all those jobs numbers tonight were also really important. So so let's let's just I think the exciting part out of tonight was. Uh, of, of, of the getting, trying to get past this phase of the pandemic um, and coming together. I think, I'm hoping, I really am, that this is a great new moment for our country, for unity, and for us to work together. You said unity and coming together again. How about, Josh, you come together and suck these nuts, you fucking dipshit? I cannot handle I had no idea how insufferable he was. So far, I've only read articles about him and how insufferable he was that way, but this is just... Wow, this is next level. Uh, he is as stupid as Louis Gohmert, Marjorie Green. Absolutely as stupid, if not dumber than them. Um, the things that he says are, are completely meaningless. It's all empty rhetoric, platitudes. The only way we can, see, can succeed is if we come together. And a good reminder, we got another jobs report coming this Friday. Congressman, thank you for staying up late. You're from <laughs> Thanks, Jersey. Stephanie. Come on, this isn't late for you. You asked me, so I stayed up. Listen, I know because I know how people party in Jersey. <laughs> Clearly, they're up until one a.m. We're gonna leave Clearly. it there. Uh, there is I I just <sighs> if that doesn't make you hate America, if this smug face doesn't make you hate America, I don't know what to say. Like he makes me really embarrassed to say that I am an American.